What's up guys, I'm Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take the Apple's HomeKit and control an LG Smart Thin IQ television. So sit back and relax, let me tell you all about it. If you guys haven't heard of HomeKit, it's basically a software built into most Apple products that allows you to control devices similar to the Google and Alexa systems. Now if you don't have it, go to your App Store and look for Home. So here we have the main screen of the HomeKit and it has similar features like the Google and the Alexa systems except you're going to be using the Apple Siri control. You can do things like setting up reminders and behaviors and you can also share access. Let's go ahead and get it set up for the first time and then at this point I'll show you how to connect your LG television and get it all up and running. Here's the main screen. What we're going to do is go over to the LG television and I'm going to show you the AirPlay feature so we can set this up. In order to do this feature, you need to make sure that you have the latest firmware that supports the AirPlay. How you get to that is press setting on your remote control. Go down to the bottom where it says all settings. Go to general. And you should have at least version 4.7. Now if you don't have this version, you need to go down here and check for updates. And then once it scans, it should find that latest version and then allow you to update to the newest firmware. If you have that, you can go and close out the screen by hitting back on the menu. Now once it's updated, you should have AirPlay on your menu by pressing Home and going down to the bottom where it says Home Dashboard. The next step is to add this TV set to the Apple HomeKit so we can control it with Siri. Make sure you're still on the Add Accessory screen that I showed you earlier. Now back to the TV set, go ahead and press on AirPlay. And you'll get a summary like this. It'll show you which Wi-Fi you're connected to as well as the name of the television set. Go ahead and highlight the AirPlay and HomeKit settings and press Next. You can choose if you want to have the AirPlay feature on, subtitles and captions, and a little bit about the AirPlay. Go down to Home and then hit the OK button to go to the next screen. Now all the HomeKit features use a barcode to find the devices. For your iPad or iPhone, go back to Add Accessory and the camera will pull up. All you need to do is move the camera up until it sees the code and it'll scan automatically. And as you can see, it found Living Room TV on the iPad and if you scroll down, you can see all the different features that you can control from it. But mainly, it's for changing inputs and turning the TV off and on from your iPad or iPhone. Go ahead and press Next. And if you like, you can create some scenes like you can say Good Night or Leaving Home and it'll turn off that device or control it. And you will get this confirmation that the home service is now connected to your LG TV set. Now let's test it and see if the Siri can turn the TV off and on. Turn off TV. Okay. Turn on TV. Turning on the default room TV. The great thing is now that the HomeKit is connected to the iCloud, it can then go to all my devices. Let me give you an example of what you can do from your iPhone. Hey Siri, turn off TV. Okay, the living room TV is off. Hey Siri, turn on TV. Turning on the default room TV. <laughs> And there you go. As you can see, this is very easy to connect to your LG television set. And just so you guys know, once you set it up to the HomeKit, you can control this from your Apple Watch all the way up to your Apple computer, so you have full control on no matter what device. And if you need to use or remove the item, just find it on your HomeKit, press and hold it down. And then if you scroll down here to the bottom, there's a feature that says Remove Accessory. Once you remove that, it will remove from all your Apple devices. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment below this video. And like all my videos before, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.